So before we move on to talk about the consequences of the second law of thermodynamics or just do more general uh, things in thermodynamics, uh, today we're going to briefly review some crucial math uh, for thermodynamics. Now all of these topics will be more or less uh, topics you might see in the first two years of calculus. So hopefully this is a brief refresher, uh, but these things are important uh, to be able to follow along in future videos. So if we have a single variable function, and we call that function f of x, we call the instantaneous rate of change for f of x with respect to x uh, df uh, dx. So this is the first derivative of the function f with respect to x. And in general, we might say something like the following. The, the amount of change, infinitesimal change, in the function uh, f is denoted by uh, df, and it's equal to here, we have the instantaneous slope, and that's multiplied by the infinitesimal amount of change um, in the independent variable x. Now, something that's going to be looked at uh, quite a bit is something called the uh, inverse function theorem uh, that we will use uh, quite frequently. So if we have some function y of x, and we're going to assume that this is, it has a nice property. So it's continuous, it's differentiable on the interval that we care about. Um, and uh, conversely, we're also going to assume that there's another function, uh, x of y, so just inverting this relationship uh, that also has this property. Then the inverse uh, function theorem basically tells us that um, if I was to take the derivative uh, of y with respect to x, then that is equal to one over the derivative of x with respect to y. Now the important thing here is that of course we don't want, we don't want this function uh, to be zero on the interval we care about, but otherwise uh, the inverse function theorem holds for sufficiently well-behaved functions. In fact, so a key property here is that we want them to be monotone. So in thermodynamics, we're not going to work with single variable uh, functions. We're going to work with um, functions of two, three, or maybe more uh, variables. So for example, uh, we might have some function f of x, y, and z, or z, depending on your preference. And we might take the total differential um, so, or generalize this relationship. Uh, that we had above for single variables. So the total differential um, can be written as uh, df is equal to the partial. So I'm gonna try and make these uh, distinct. Uh, my handwriting isn't the best. Um, so these are the partial derivatives times the total differential here, dx, plus and here I'm going to be a little bit lazy. Um, these partial derivatives are going to be understood as holding the other variables constant. Um, so I'm not going to write, uh, usually, usually you'd write this in brackets um, and write yz to tell the person reading your notation that you're keeping those um, constant, uh, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, just, just to be a little bit lazy, it's understood that when you take a partial derivative, the other variables, the other independent variables are held, uh, uh, held constant. Right, so, so we also have uh, del f del y times dy plus del f del z d z. Now let's clear up something uh, that's pretty fundamental uh, to what we're gonna do here in thermodynamics. These uh, expressions, uh, df, these are known as exact differentials. So if we can express something's exact differential, um, like df, that means that f um, is a state function. Okay, so it is a variable that only depends on the current equilibrium state. It doesn't matter how we got to that equilibrium configuration, f only depends on the equilibrium configuration itself. So things like work 
um, and heat uh, cannot be expressed in this way. They are a, not, we can't express them as exact differentials, but for example, uh, energy, energy and the entropy are in fact state functions. So if f, we'll, we'll take it as a function of two variables here, uh, x and y is a sufficiently well-behaved function, then from calculus, we know that uh, there's a property of the second derivatives, um, and that is that the operation of taking uh, uh, the derivative with respect to x and then y um, is the same as taking the derivative with respect to first taking the derivative with y and then taking it with x. So these operations commute. Oftentimes in thermodynamics, we're going to be looking at, uh, at equations that look like the following. We're going to have something like df is equal to some function of x, y. Um, so function a of x, y times dx plus some function uh, bxy times dy. Now, because we're going to assume that our function is sufficiently well-behaved, uh, what that means is that we can identify a of xy, for example, as del f del x, and similarly, uh, b of xy will be equal to del f del y and interestingly what this means then is that del a uh, del y then has to be equal to del b del x so this is an identity uh, that we will definitely uh, use in the future and we can do the exact same thing with um, three variables so let's say we have a function of x, y, z, just moving us down here, then we could imagine a case where we have df is equal to a x y z times dx plus b of x y. I'm gonna run out of space here a little bit uh, times dy, and I'm just gonna write it down here. Uh, times, oh sorry, there's a, there's a z in here, of course. Times dy plus writing it down here, but same equation, x, y, z times dz. And so from here, um, we can, uh, we can again find identities that are similar for the two-dimensional case. And that is, again, we have del A, del Y is equal to del B, del X. The reason why this is true is the same reason as above. These operations um, commute. This is a basic sort of um, identity or result of calculus. And we also have del A, del z is equal to del c del x and finally we have uh, del b del z is equal to del c del y now so these are important identities that again we will be using um, in our treatment of thermodynamics okay so in a really important um, equation that we might find ourselves with is something called an equation of state. So for example, we could have f of x, y, z um, is equal to zero. And this is something that uh, we identify or we call an equation of state in thermodynamics. So for example, instead of x, y, z, you know, sort of these arbitrary parameters, we might have f of the pressure, the volume, and the temperature so um, is equal to zero, right? So if, for example, we had the ideal gas law, you would have uh, PV is equal to um, N uh, KBT, right? Um, right, so then, so then F would just be the difference of these two. F of PVT is equal to P times V minus 
n times kb t so this is the Boltzmann constant this is the number of atoms in your in your ideal gas um, this is the temperature of course volume pressure okay so but let's just for ease of notation and not to uh, I want you to understand that these are sort of general principles um, and general equations uh, based off of just a you know a simple equation so let's, let's derive some uh, general um, equations uh, knowing that we have some equation uh, that has this property. Well, the first thing that you'll notice um, is that we have th three sort of independent variables, but because this is equal to zero, what that means is we actually only have two independent variables. Uh, so we might be able to isolate a function X, which is a function of Y and Z. Um, and then we have a, so we could similarly have a function of Y, which is um, X and Z, and we could also have a function z, uh, which is uh, x and y. So we can take all of their total differentials. Um, and so this would be uh, dx is equal to uh, del x uh, del y uh, dy plus uh, del x uh, del Z, DZ, and then of course uh, we have the same for Y, uh, del Y, uh, del X, DX plus del uh, Y, del Z, DZ, and just scrolling down here a little bit, we can also have the exact same equation uh, for Z, so all of these functions. Uh, del z del x times dx plus del z del y dy so a simple exercise then would be to substitute uh, the equation for dy into the equation for dx and what you're going to find is then that uh, dx um, is equal to del x del y times del y del x times dx. And I'm just gonna write this below, but it's the same equation. Uh, plus, plus all in brackets here, um, del, del x del y del y del z plus del x del z all times dz. Okay, so we have um, uh, two differentials uh, that we could potentially set to zero. So the consequences of this would be the following. So let's say I said, I said dx is equal to zero, uh, then what you would see is that you would have uh, zero is equal to uh, this portion uh, of the expression. Um, so if we want to say that dz does not equal to zero, right? So we're changing uh, z, but we're not changing x. Uh, then what we have is that uh, del x, del y, del y, del z plus del x del z is equal to zero. So we could reorganize this um, and basically what that would mean is that uh, del x del y times del y del z um, is equal to minus uh, del x del z. It's kind of a strange looking uh, equation but uh, here we are. Now, another uh, thing that we could do to this equation is we could say, you know, what happens if instead we say uh, dz is equal to zero um, and we set dx is not equal to zero, right? So if we look at that, um, that means this portion of the equation disappears um, and then these two dx's would divide out. So what we're left with is that uh, one, is equal to del x uh, del y times 
del y uh, del x. And so this is again um, a uh, reciprocal uh, equation or relation. So basically we get that uh, del x del y um, is equal to one over uh, del y del x. So the same fact that we discussed at the beginning of the video. So all of these relations are gonna be really important uh, for thermodynamics and we will uh, sort of lean on them and just use them or state them uh, as we go as we go on um, in the next few videos. Uh, so hopefully this was a uh, helpful video to uh, get you caught up or uh, point you in the right direction to, to what you need to learn uh, to follow along. Uh, but with that in mind, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.